the environment and climate change are issues that are critical to so many voters this election. Our political reporter, Joe St. George, tells us that both candidates differ greatly on what should be done at the federal level and also the impact no action may have on all of us. Here are two very different voters. We like clean air. We like clean water. Alan Olson and... The environment is like the basis of, a, of a, like everything. Anna Rosemore Almeida. Both are following environmental issues closely, but both have a different take on what should be done. Fracking for me is uh, something that it's, it's kind of pointless to me because in, in a while we're going to be out of oil. Anna is tired of the economy relying on drilling and fracking. Alan works for the petroleum industry and says we must protect the environment but do so responsibly and not take away jobs. We have got a tremendous economy in the United States primarily due to cheap fuels. So where do the candidates stand when it comes to climate change and the environment? After all, Florida is projected to be impacted. According to the independent research group Climate Central, sea level rise will result in more king tide driven flooding. They're because of global warming. I believe that we have to do everything we can to have immaculate air, immaculate water. During the presidential debates, the topic came up. Here's how President Trump and Joe Biden differ. President Trump reversed nearly a hundred environmental rules during his presidency that he believed hurt the economy. He removed the United States from what he believes is an unfair Paris agreement meant to stop temperatures from rising by reducing emissions worldwide. But he did sign the Great American Outdoors Act, which both parties believe will protect federal lands for generations. Joe Biden, meanwhile, would rejoin the Paris Agreement once net zero emissions no later than 2050. And he supports parts of the Green New Deal, but says he would not ban fracking. So there's a lot at stake this election on a lot of issues. The environment is just one of them, but it's a big one for a lot of voters. If we keep relying on oil, then we're not going to be able to make a clean transition over. Environmental regulations have to be realistic. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.